Why am I doing this? I'm about to save the entire rules of Monopoly. This is a mistake. I don't know why I'm doing this. But I need content. And I'm bored. Screw it. Um. Speed die rules. Learning how to play with the speed die is as fast as playing with it. When starting the game, ha hand out an extra thousand dollars to each player with... To each player, two five hundred should work. The game involves... I can't even read. The game moves fast and you'll need the extra cash to buy and build. Do not use the speed die until you've landed on or passed over a go for the first time. Once you collect that first $200 salary, you'll use the speed die for the rest of the game. This means that some players will start using the die before others. 3. Once you start using the speed die, roll it along with two white die on your turn. Then, then do the following depending what you rolled. 1, 2, or 3. Add this number to roll of the two white die, and we'll zoom around the board. Why am I doing this? Plus, lets you, this lets you get off the bus early. Look at the two white die. You can move the value of one die, the other die, or some of both die. So if you roll a one and a five, you can move one space, five spaces, or six spaces. It's your choice. Mr. Monopoly. First, move the sum of the white die, of the two white die, and resolve the space you land on such as a drawing card, buying a property, paying rent, etc. Then, one of two things will happen depending on whether or not there is still property in the bank. I'm not playing this ever. Too complicated for me. Yes, there is property in the bank. Advance to the next property that the bank still holds and buy it if you wish. If you don't want to buy this property, move, move to the space anyway <coughs> and put the property up for auction. No, there are no more properties in the bank. Advance to the next property on which you will owe another player money. A few minor details. Only the white dice are used when determining if you roll doubles. Do not look at the speed dice. If you roll a three of a kind, all of the dice should show the, should show the same number. You can move anywhere you want on the board. If you get sent to jail during your move, Either by landing on the on the go to jail space or rolling doubles three times in a row, then you can turn. Then your turn is over, and you will not get to use the speed dice for that turn. Use the white dice only when rolling to get out of jail. Use the sum of all three dice when determining determining how much to pay on a utility. No, the bus and Mister Monopoly are valued at zero. Very important. Plus of Monopoly rules. Objective. The object, no. Object. I'm not in court. Object. The object of the game is to become the wealthiest player through buying, renting, and selling property. Preparation. Place the board on the table and put the chance and community chess cards face down under all of its spaces on the board. Each player chooses one token to represent him slash her while traveling around the board. Around the board. Each player is given fifteen. Each player is given fifteen hundred divided as follows: two each of five hundreds, one hundreds, and fifties; six twenties, five, five each of tens, fives, and ones. All remaining money and other equipment go to the bank. Stack the bank's money on edge in the compart compartments in the plastic banker's tray. Banker, select a banker who will also make a good auctioneer. A banker who plays in the same game must keep his or her personal funds separate from those of the bank. When more than five persons play, the banker may elect to act only as banker and auctioneer. The bank, besides the bank's money, the bank holds the title and deed cards and houses and hotels prior to purchase and used by the players. 
The bank plays salaries and bonuses. It sells and auctions properties and hands out the property of title deed cards. It sells houses and hotels to the players and loans money. When, when required on mortgage, mortgages, the bank collects all taxes, fines, loans, and interest, and the price of all properties which it sells and auctions. The bank never goes broke. If the bank runs out of money, the bank may issue as much more as needed by writing on any ordinary paper. The play. Here we go. Starting with the banker, each player in, in turn throws the dice. The player with the highest total starts to play. Place your move, place your token on the corner marked go. Throw the dice and move your token in the direction of the arrow in the, the number of spaces indicated by the dice. After you have completed your play, the uh, thumb passes to the left. The tokens remain on the spaces occupied and proceed from that point on to on the player's next turn. Two or more tokens may rest on the same place at the same time. According to the space your token reaches, you may, in, you may be entitled to buy real estate or other properties. Obligated to pay rent, pay taxes, draw a chance or a community chess card, go to jail, etc. I guess that's good. If you throw doubles, you move your token as usual. The sum of two dice and are subject to, to many privileges or penalties pertaining the space which you land on. Retaining the dice, throw again, and move your token as before. If you throw doubles three times in succession, move your token immedi immediately to the space marked in jail, see jail. Go. Each time a player's token lands on, lands on or passes over a go, whether by throwing the dice or drawing a card, the banker pays him her a two hundred dollars salary. The two hundred is paid only once each time around the board. However, if a player passing go on the throw of the dice lands two separate spaces beyond it, the community chest are seven spaces beyond it, beyond and on chance, and draws the advance to go card. He she collects two hundred dollars for passing go the first time and another 200 for reaching it the second time by instructions on the card. Buying property. Whenever you land on an unowned property, you may buy that property from the bank as it is at its printed price. You receive the title deed card showing, showing ownership place, place it face up in front of you. If you do not wish to buy the property, the banker sells it at auction to the highest bidder. The buyer pays the bank the amount of the bid and cash and receives the title deed card for that property. Any player, including the one who declined the option to buy it at the printed price, may bid, bidding, may start at any price. Paying rent. When you, when you land on property owned by another player, the owner collects rent from you in accordance with the list, with the list printed on the title deed card. It's title deed card. If the property is mortgaged, no rent can be collected. When the property is mortgaged, its title deed card is placed face down in front of the owner. If it is an advantage to hold all the title deed cards in a color group, example, Boardwalk and Park Place or Connecticut, Vermont, and Oriental Avenues, because the owner may then charge double rent from unimproved properties that of, in that color group. This rule applies to unmort unmortgaged properties and even if, even if another property in that color group is mortgaged, it is even more adventurous to have houses or hotels on properties because rents are much higher for unimproved properties. The owner may not collect the rent if he or she fails to ask for it before the second player following the throws the dice. Chance and community chest. When you land on either either of these spaces, take the top card from the deck indicated. Follow the instructions and return the card face down to the bottom of the deck. The get out of jail free card is held until used and then returned to the bottom of the deck. 
If the player who draws it does not wish to use it, he or she may sell it at any time to another player at a price agreeable to both. Income tax. If you land here, you have two options. You may estimate your tax at $200 and pay the bank, or you may pay 10% of your total bank of your total worth to the bank. Your total worth is all your cash on hand, printed prices and mortgage and unmortgaged properties and cost price of all price of all buildings you own. You must decline which option you will take down before you add up your total worth. Jail. Hope I never go there. You land in jail when one, your token lands on the space mark to go to jail. Two, you draw a card mark to go to jail, or three, you you throw double phases. You throw one second, I have dyslexia. You throw doubles three times in succession. When you're sent to jail you cannot collect your two hundred dollars salary. And that makes sense, regardless of where your token is on the board, you must move it directly into jail. Your token your turn ends when you are sent to jail. If you are not sent to jail by the order jail but in the ordinary course of playland on that space, just visiting you are just visiting one second. Just visiting you incur no penalty and you move ahead as you in the usual manner of your next turn. You get out of jail by one, throwing doubles on any move on your next three turns. If you succeed in doing this, you immediately move to your... You immediately move forward in the number of spaces shown by your double... Shown by your double throw. Even though you had thrown doubles, you, you do not take another turn. Using the get out of jail free card if you have it. So you purchasing the get out of jail free card from another player and playing it. For paying a fine of fifty dollars before you roll the dice on either of your next two turns. If you do not throw doubles by your third turn, you must pay the fifty dollars fine. You get you then get out of jail and, and immediately move forward the number of spaces shown by your throw. Even though you are in jail you may buy and sell property and sell houses and hotels and collect rent. One second. Only three pages left. Thank God. Free parking. A player landing on this place does not receive any money, property, or reward of any kind. This is just a free vesting space. Houses. When you own all the properties in a color group, you may also buy... You may buy houses from the bank and erect them on those properties. If you buy one house, you may put it on any one of those properties. By the next house, you... The next house you buy must be erected on one of the improvised properties of this or any other complete color group you may own. That's racist. Is Monopoly racist? Let me know. The price you must pay the bank for each house is shown on your title deed card for the property on which you erect the house. The owner still collects double rent from an opponent who lands on the un unimproved properties. Of, her, of his her complete color group. Stop being racist. That's not okay. Following the above rules, you may buy and erect at any time as many houses as your judgment and financial standing will allow. But you must build evenly, i.e. you cannot erect more, more than one house on any one property of any color group until you have built one house on every property of that group. You may then begin to, you may then begin on the second row of houses and so on, up to a limit of four houses to a property. For example, you cannot build three houses on one property if you have only one house on another property of that group. As you build evenly, you must also break down evenly if you sell houses back to the bank. See selling property. Hotels. When a player has four houses on each property of a complete color group, he she may buy a hotel from the bank and erect it on any property of the color group. He she returns the four houses from that property to the bank and pays the price for the hotel as, she, as shown on the title deed card. Only one hotel may be erected on 
any one property, building shortages. When the bank has no houses to sell, players wishing to build must wait for some player to return to or sell his or her house, houses before the bank houses to the bank before building. If there are if there are a limited number of houses and hotels available and two or more players wish to buy more than the bank has, the houses and hotels must be sold at auction to the highest bidder. Selling properties. Unimproved properties, railroads and utilities but not buildings may be sold to any player as a private transaction for any amount the owner can get. However, no property can be sold to another player if buildings are are standing on any properties of that color group. Any building so, so located must be sold back to the bank before the owner can sell any property of that color group. Houses and hotels must houses and hotels may be sold back to the bank at any time for one half the price paid for the item. All houses of all houses on one color group must be sold by one evenly in reverse reverse of the manner in which they are, were erected. All, ho- all hotels in, on one color group may be sold at once, or they may be sold at one house, one house at a time. One hotel equals five houses. Eventually, in reverse of the manner in which they were erected. Mortgages. Unimproved properties can be mortgaged through the bank at any time. Before an improved property can be mortgaged, all the buildings and all the buildings on all the properties of its color group must be sold back to the bank at half price. The mortgage value is printed on each title de- deed card. No rent can be collected on mortgage properties or utilities, but rent can be collected on unmortgaged properties in the same group. In order to lift mortgage, the owner must pay the bank the amount of, of the mortgage plus, plus 10% interest. When all properties of a color group are no longer mortgaged, the owner may begin to buy back houses at full price. The player who mortgages property retains possession of it, and no other player may secure it by lifting the mortgage from the bank. From the bank. However, the owner may sell this mortgage property to another player at any agreed price. If you are the new owner, you may lift the mortgage at once if you wish to by paying off the mortgage plus 10% interest to the bank. If the mortgage is not lifted once, you must pay the bank 10% interest when you buy the property and if you lift the mortgage later, you must pay the bank an additional 10% interest as well as, as the amount of the mortgage. Bankruptcy, last page, bankruptcy. You are declared bankrupt if you owe more th- more than you can I can pay either to another player or to the bank. If if your debt is to another player, you must turn over that player all his player all that you have the, of value and retire from the game. In making this settlement, if you own how if you own houses or hotels, you must return these to the bank in exchange for money to the extent of one half the amount paid for them. The cash is given to the creditor. If you paid mortgage property, you may also turn this property over to your creditor, but the new owner must pay, must at once pay the bank the amount of interest on the loan, which is 10% of the value of the property. The new owner who does this may then, at his or her option, pay the principal or hold the property until some later time. Then left mortgage. If he she holds property in this way until a later turn, he she must pay the interest upon lifting the mortgage. Should you owe the bank instead of instead of another player more than you can pay because of taxes or penalties? Taxes or penalties, even by selling off buildings and mortgaging property, you must turn over all all assets to the bank. In this case, the bank immediately sells by auction and all property so taken, except buildings. Bankruptcy player must immediately retire from the game. The last player in the game left in the game wins. How do you even say that? Miscellaneous money can be lo- 
loan to a player only by the bank and then only by work, mortgaging property. No player may borrow from when mar No player may borrow from or lend money to another player. I get it. I just read all of this. Oh my god, that was painful. And what's even worse is I have dyslexia too, or not, not, not major, but, you know, I can still read most things, it's just stuff like this. <sighs> what am I doing with my life? I don't even know anymore. Make sure you subscribe for more self-torture like that. If you enjoy me torturing myself, then subscribe because I have a bunch of other ideas that you might like. I have a headache. I have to get to bed. Goodbye.